मिस्टर सतीश थलंगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वॉल्चून इज टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी द नेटवर्क टेक्निक्स फॉर द प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन द स्टूडेंट्स इज गोइंग टू एबल टू ड्रॉ द नेटवर्क डायग्राम फॉर द प्रोजेक्ट एंड कंपेयर इट विद द गैन चार्ट टेक फॉर द प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट नो लेट सी द नेटवर्क एंड इट्स टर्म्स द नेटवर्क इज नथिंग एल्स इट इज अ ग्राफिकल एंड द लॉजिकल प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड इट्स एक्टिविटीज विद दर इंटर डिपेंडेंसी यू आर इन दिस नेटवर्क डायग्राम द पर्टिकुलर ऑर्डर ऑफ द टास्क और यू कैन से एक्टिविटीज आर शोन इन द सच अ वे दैट द प्रिसीडर एंड द सक्सीडर एक्टिविटीज आर ऑल्सो देर द नेटवर्क इज अ सच अ गुड प्रेजेंटेशन एज कंपेयर टू द अर्लियर दैट इज द ग्रैंड चार्ट विच यू वी लेटर गोइंग टू सी नो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर नेटवर्क डायग्राम वी हैव टू सी द टर्म्स विच आर इन्वॉल्व फर्स्ट वन इज अ एक्टिविटी द एक्टिविटीज is a portion or you can say the part in the network diagram which is going to consume the time as well as the resource for its completion the activities are represented by the arrows here here we see the arrows above which there is a description and below there is a duration in this particular di diagram the description means it may be a name of the particular activity or task the length of particular arrow have no any significance now the events events are the parts in the network diagram which are the presented at the start and the end of the particular activity the event doesn't consume any resource as well as the time here we observe that the particular event is represented by the circular node here one and two are the particular circular nodes which are the events of the particular activity here as the node which is at the end of the particular or you can say the tail of the particular activity that's why it is known as a tail event and the two is the event which is at the uh, head of the particular arrow so it is as a head event here in this particular network diagram the one is a particularly starting event from which where uh, which all the activities are going to start that is a b and c as all the activities are starting means from the event 1 there are all outgoing arrows so it is known as a bursting event and and this event is also known as a tail event here event 2 3 and 4 are the particularly activities or sorry you can say events which are playing the dual role that is it is playing a role of the tail event as well as a head event because it 2 3 and 4 are the head event of activity a b and c but they are, at the same time this particular uh, events are the tail of the activity d e and f here active event 5 where all the arrows are merging toward the 5 so there this events are incoming towards the 5 so there are the this particular event 5 is known as a merging event now the interdependency of activities there are series activities and the parallel activities here in this particular network diagram a b and c are the particular series activities this means what b is going to start only the completion of activity a c is going to start only the completion after the completion of activity b these are in the series and the parallel activities the activities which are going to start simultaneously or which are parallel to each other in this particular network C and B are the parallel activity because they are going to start at the same time, and they have the or uh, they are carrying simultaneously. That's why C and B are the parallel activities, and D and E also. Now interdependency of events. The events here there is a successor event and the preceder event. In this particular network diagram, two is the successor event of one, three is the successor event of two, and four is the successor event of three. Similarly. Here, when we see the second network diagram, one is a preceder of two, two is a preceder of three and four. So, as three and four are the preceder of activity five. Sorry, can sorry event five. Now, dummy activity. The dummy activity and its purpose. Dummy activity is activity which won't consume any time as well as resource. They are only presented in the particular network diagram for the logical maintenance. Yeah, the grammatical purpose or and the logical purpose are the two main purpose for using of dummy activity in the network diagram. Yeah, 
the grammatical purpose means what no activity if to act if two activities if their starting event is same but their ending event should be different for so purpose your b and c are starting are the started simultaneously and for to maintain its grammatical purpose we are placing the dummy activity as shown here and the logical purpose in this particular slide we observe that a b and c and d and e are the activities here d and e are going to complete uh, going to start only when activity a b and c are going to start okay but when we see the individually d is going to start when a and b is going to complete but when when we see about, about c e here e is going to start only when b and c is going to complete but keep in mind in the network diagram no a, a, a single activity is is presented only once in the particular network diagram it is not present twice so for to maintain that logically this is a network diagram here we have placed two dummy activities and the particular logicality is maintained now the types of network the types of networks there are two types of network activity on arrow and activity on node here in this particular network type is this is first this activity on arrow means what the activities are represented about the arrow or you can say also that activities are represented by the uh, arrow and the 1 2 3 are the events similarly activity on node in the second diagram we are observing that the nodes are representing the activities yes a b and c are the particular activity which are represented by the nodes that's why it is known as activity on node and events are represented by the arrows okay these are the two types of particular network techniques diagram here this is a question construct a gantt chart and the network diagram for the project consisting of following activities and later on we will compare with the gantt chart uh, constructed uh, gantt chart and with the network technique this is a description let's see in the next slide we will see this is a gantt chart which is constructed with the description a activity a and activity b are the parallel activity which are going to start as it is a parallel activity they are going to start simultaneously their durations are durations are represented okay the activity a is is going to complete at 3 and activity b is going to complete at 4 activity c is a successor of the activity a now this is a construction of the gantt chart in which we are presenting the activity c and activity d here when we see the description activity d is a successor of activity b and cannot start until the activity a is complete we have to maintain this interdependency of the particular activity d with respect to b and a so this is a gantt chart construction now this is a network diagram of the particular activities here the activity a b c and d are presented by the arrows and the, their starting and finishing are represented by the events here when we see observe the description and the network diagram we have we have shown the particularly activities with the arrows a activity a and activity b are the parallel activities here activity a and b are the parallel one okay and here activity c is going is a successor of activity a here after the completion of activity a c is going to start so i have constructed the network diagram in such a fashion and activity d is going is a successor of activity b yes it is success of b d is the success of b but it will start only when a is completed so to maintain this i have used the dummy activity okay actually this particular activity will own consume any resource or time but to maintain the logicality we have to construct the dummy activity between event 2 and 3 now when we see the comparison between or the difference between gantt chart and the particular network diagram here in this particular network diagram and the bar chart here particularly bar chart won't show any interdependency which is a major drawback of the bar chart but the network diagram show the interdependency clearly this particular gantt chart can be read by easily but here we own uh, a reader will not come to know whether 
which activities is totally purely depend upon the previous activities but when the network diagram is seen here we can see the clearly that d is the activity which is present on activity b as well as a this is a, a easy means a difference between the bar chart and the network diagram here we won't show the uh, any dummy activities or activities which are uh, logically should be maintained to presentation is not shown in the bar chart but here in the network diagram we show the dummy activity which is needed for the logical maintenance this is a major difference between the gantt chart and the network diagram here suppose the network diagrams are can be read easily and understand because here the interdependency is shown clearly but in the bar chart it is a major drawback now these are the references for the today's session thank you